Hi, I'm John Sewell. I'm a consultant with IDCON, and today I'll be talking about the technical database and the important role it plays in the planning and scheduling process. The symptoms of a poor technical database are often easy to see. You might have planners who are spending more time looking for parts than they are writing job plans. You might have crews out in the field performing work who don't have the right parts they need or they're in the wrong quantity. And you might see engineers who are constantly being asked to look up drawings or to find vendors for manuals uh, because the planners or supervisors don't have the access to find them themselves. The purpose of the technical database is best explained by looking at IDCON's productivity cycle. The market is driving our production plan, and once we have that, we can begin to plan and schedule our work so that the equipment's available when we need it. Our technical database in stores is located to the right and connected to our planning and scheduling process with a double-sided arrow. That indicates that we're getting something from the technical database and sending it to planning and scheduling, and also we want to have information going back from planning and scheduling to the technical database. So really the purpose of the technical database is to provide information to the planning and scheduling process. The definition of the technical database is all documents, files, drawings, instructions, lists, and standards needed to adequately describe the what, how, who, and when of a maintenance activity so that it can be done efficiently and effectively. Said another way, the definition is simply all information that's needed to plan and schedule work at a high level. There are eight main parts of the technical database. They are the equipment hierarchy, equipment labeling and numbering, drawings, manuals and photographs, engineering standards, bills of material, criticality, and standard job plans. There are three main best practices to work on while you're either developing or improving your technical database. First, make sure the information is accurate. That's often easy to understand, but it is in practice difficult to keep the technical database updated. The second best practice to work on is to make sure the information is accessible. It's not uncommon for different parts of the technical database to be under the control of different groups in your mail, and sometimes it's difficult for the right people to have access to everything they need. The third best practice is to make sure the information is applied. An accurate and accessible technical database by itself provides little value. It's only when it's used by the crews performing the work that you'll see the biggest benefits. Although the symptoms of a poor technical database are often easy to see, the importance of the technical database is often overlooked. In many mills, assessing the health of your technical database and spending time to make sure the information is accurate, accessible, and applied represents a huge opportunity to fundamentally improve the planning and scheduling process. Leave a comment below or connect with me on LinkedIn and let me know how you've seen the technical database either used to help or perhaps hinder your work at planning and scheduling in the mail. While you're here, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and then head over to idcon.com for more free articles on this topic and many more. Thank you.